All right, this next story is sure to bring a smile to your face. It's about the successful end to a two month search to rescue a lost dog in Hollister. Perhaps the only thing sweeter than the happy ending is the little girl responsible for it. Action News reporter Lauren Sieber joins us now with more. Aaron, it's that little six year old Morgan Hill girl who rescued that runaway dog. And now she has a new best friend and a six year old Hollister girl who is giving that dog a forever home and an incredible new future. There's a story behind every friendship. Best friends, the day that we met each other, best friends. Right, Ava? Mm -hmm. And this one. Megan, do you want to color on my chalkboard? Sure. Is quite Red unique. Chalk. It begins about two and a half months ago. All of a sudden I saw this dog running down Mark's Drive, which is in the Ridge Mark subdivision, and she was running for her life. Susan Hilden called her friend Deanna Barth, who runs the Hollister Animal Lost and Found Facebook page and is also a wildlife rescue specialist. We were feeding her regularly and we knew she was eating, but couldn't get near her. The two located the dog's owner, but learned he had only had her for two days before she went missing. He told them she belonged to a foster family before he picked her up at the shelter. And that's where Megan comes in. She and her mom foster rescue animals regularly, 75 last year alone. We earn their trust. And how do you do that? It's just basic. Play with them. Trust. Love. And it was that same trust and love she had earned with this dog just a few months before. So the adults, after weeks of trying to capture the dog, asked Megan to give it a try. She started running away and she kept running. So she decided to sit in the grass. I army crawled on my tummy. And incredibly. Oh, good girl. What adults couldn't do in two months. I am so proud of my kid. Megan did her first try. When I was about this close to her, she went, oh, it's her! And she started playing with me. Daisy remembered. And amazingly, that's not where this story ends. After Daisy was captured, the Toppings couldn't foster her this time. So instead, they asked Susan Hilden if she'd give it a try. And six hours into her foster shift, she knew Daisy was home. She needs to be with children. And so she adopted Daisy for her granddaughter on the exact day four years later, the little girl's therapy dog had gone missing. And now Ava, at six, has some big plans for her new four-legged best friend. Just really want to take her to Stanford and make sure we do that soon. And why do you want to take her to Stanford? Because that was the place where I had my heart fixed when I was a baby. And what do you hope Daisy does at Stanford? Um, help the kids and help them feel better. We want to have her to where Ava and she can go up and both tell their stories. Three incredible stories and beautiful new friendships. Now, as I mentioned, little Ava had her own therapy dog when she was six several years ago in and out of Stanford Children's Hospital. Now she wants to train Daisy so she can help other kids. As for Megan, she, of course, wants to work with animals when she grows up. Aaron. Of course she does. <laughs> of course she should. She should. She should. I love that Amazing. story. Love it, love Wonderful. it, love it. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lauren.